well uh, once we have uh, completed uh, the layout for the corresponding uh, schematic circuit the next step is so you have to uh, perform design rule check that means uh, you have to check whether uh, I have the, the design rules that I have used is proper or not fine for that so you have to perform design rule check fine so how to do that is so the tool for uh, design rule check is Asura so you can see so on the top so you can see the Asura Asura is the tool uh, that will uh, allow you to check for all the design rule check then uh, LVS layout versus schematic all these things and also parasitic extraction all these things this is uh, post layout works so for that uh, in the Asura you have to go for run DRC but uh, before you run the DRC you should have the corresponding reference technology file to verify whether uh, I have used or rather I have followed proper design rules fine for that you have to select the technology first fine so for the technology file you have to select Asura technology file that will enables you to check or verify uh, the design rules fine so this is a one time setting again so as we did in the you know, very fast so this is a one time setting so on your system so once you set this technology file it will be there always fine for your library fine if you create new library again you have to create new technology again fine for your uh, uh, library so you have to select technology once in a so you have to you know the configure once in a while fine so only one time so for that you have to go to Asura here you have to select technology when you click on technology it will ask for technology file so the file will not be there you have to give the path for that file how to give the file path here there are uh, three dots click on that if you click on that okay when you click on this so you can see here so now so you have to search for that particular file as uh, Asura tech lib file so here uh, I'll click on this double click so you know it will show you it will give you to it will take you to the previous uh, folder so double click on this again one more double click here select cadence so double click on cadence here select CAD so double click on CAD here select foundry double click on foundry in the analog select analog in the analog select 45 nanometer technology here select Asura TechLib okay so I'll show you one more time so click on here so go to Asura select technology one click on this then double click here double click cadence CAD foundry analog 45 nanometer technology Asura tech leap okay let's click on this so it will select the technology file now we have to perform the DRC step that is design rule check so how to do that go to Asura select run DRC click on run DRC here you have to select the technology file okay so here initially it will be like this so you have to go to technology here click on this select GPDK 045 AB fine click on this so it will automatically select the technology file okay now just click that is the only step you have to do here so just click OK fine just yes so it will run for DRC error so you can see the progress now it will give you so run successfully so completed successfully do you want to view the results of this run right so yes you have to click S yes. so it will give you like this if there are no errors it will give you the step like this okay so let's close this once there is no error then you have to go to next step so that is Asura go to LVS so once you have completed uh, DRC that's design rule check because there is no errors in the design rules so now I have to perform the layout versus schematics check 
so for that you have to run LVS in that so cell name is inverter schematic fine so test libraries test one schematic cell name is inverter schematic I have to be with the schematic if here if undoubtedly if you have you know by mistake if you have selected layout inverter layout right so you have to select the inverter schematic okay so sometimes it happens if might have uh, selected inverter layout because you are working on layout uh, window so it might select a uh, inverter schema uh, layout if it is selected like that you have to select the inverter schematic by going to browse here by browsing here you have to select the inverter schematic sometimes it will be selected uh, layout uh, inverter layout it might have selected so you have to reselect it inverter schematic okay then so technology is already selected if it is not selected you have to select gpdk45 if it is like this initially it would be like this so you have to select gpdk45 that's it to click ok so lvs is running so once the run is progress so once is pro cleared so it will give you the extraction information like this here there is no S, uh, uh, issues found you see summary of lvs issues so it is exactly matched so there is no issues between your schematic and the layout fine just click yes so it will give you the results see schematic and layout match so there is no mismatch in my layout as well as the schematic okay now once that is done my layout as well as uh, LVS is also done so the next step is you have to perform parasitic extraction or the extraction step so how do we do that so you have to go to Q Asura again in the Asura you have to select run QRC right so run QRC is the step to perform the parasitic extraction okay so just click on this so there are a few certain uh, settings you have to perform here also fine so initially uh, initially it would be like this uh, so initially it would be like this so some st steps have to be done okay some settings has to be done so first is uh, you have to go to rule set in the rule set select rcx worst fine for the worst case you have to perform the layout extraction or parasitic extraction so this is the rule set you have select uh, rcx worst then in the spy output so it is uh, spice model is auto selected so you have to select extracted weave okay so in the extracted view so when you select on the extracted view so usually initially the cell view check will be enabled fine so you have to deselect it disable this enable cell view check you have to disable this okay and the view name is av extracted that is the extracted file name would be av extracted fine so you have to perform in this setup section you have to do this much fine our sex washed extracted view disable this enable check view that's it then go to extraction in the extraction so initially uh, it will be C only fine so what you have to do is you have to select RC fine so and uh, coupling mode make sure it is coupled and the reference name is GND exclamatory mark that is ground is the reference node okay then uh, in the filtering so you have to give the power uh, nets name so from the schematic uh, VDD and VSS you have to exclude from the extraction and also from ground nets ground has to be excluded from the extraction fine so but that uh, name has to be given here so power nets names so for from schematic it is VDD and VSS from ground sorry from uh, the schematic itself the ground will be GND fine okay and then in the net listing so make sure these four steps four options are do not included fine so for design capacitor parasitic capacitor mode uh, resistor modes all these let it be do not included fine so if this is done that's it for QRC extraction setup is this much you have to perform okay setup extraction filtering as well as net listing then run details everything will be auto selected you don't have to do anything okay so when you click okay so just click yes so 
QRC is in progress. So now see the QRC run inverter layout completed successfully. So the output will be in library test one view name is AV extracted. Okay, just close this. Now we have successfully extracted parasites or parasitic components that is resistors, resistor component, internal in inductor components, then uh, capacitor components. All these things successfully extracted. You can view that file. So I'll just show you. You can go to file, select open. In the open, now see. So test one, we have selected inverter layout name. So in that view is layout. I am weaving layout, but I want to weave its extracted view. So for that, you just click on this. See, AV extracted is appeared here. Just click on that. Fine. So now we have selected AV extracted. Just click OK. See, this is the extracted view, AV extracted view of parasitic components. Right. You can see those tiny components, parasites. If you zoom it, see, if you zoom it here, can see all the parasites names so you see parasitors capacitors right so this is due to many reasons see there is a small difference in this so because of that there is exist a parasites because they lacks as a parasitic sorry parallel clades again here also see here if you observe here also it is there then other uh, parasites see resistor components you can see all these things this is the parasitic extraction view why this is also very much important okay so once we done this then we go for uh, a back another step so that we will see now